Most people in America are quite familiar with the races of America. We're familiar with the different terms, we're familiar with the different dialects in a way. We're familiar when we listen to people that they may not be from America. Because American citizens are expected to speak the Lord's English, or motherfucking English, or true American English. But there are groups and subsets that continue on their path to speak their own language. They continue to hire their own people, they put together their own groups, and eventually they might take over an American's business. You see, how hard is it in their mind to kill someone is not ever a question. What they want is power, what they want is control, and a lot of times they work themselves right out of a job. Now what they'll do is go away for a while, but at some point they'll retaliate for being fired, and whose problem was that? Who made the wrong choice? Who interfered with someone's business? Who gave poor service? Those people are the reasons that we have difficulties in America. You see, when we were in a wartime situation, all Americans were pretty much trying to pull together. Now, I don't know the ins and outs of the Bronx or the New Yorks or the kind of uh, storylines that we like to tell with the smatterings from hell that the directors do. But what I can tell you is America has been brought along in its history and heritage by fighters who fight for me and you. The minute you stop fighting for someone else's rights is the minute you start to work our American continent towards the loss of human rights. Human rights is a treaty, a declaration of something of internationalness. It is not for the greedy. It is for the humble to love other people and their abilities to thrive. You see, if you personally want the ability to thrive and survive, then you have to be willing to allow other people who are American citizens to work their way through survival, security, and significance. And if you're not willing to do this, then why are you here at all, motherfucker? Because that's why your forefathers and the pilgrims came here. And if you have forgotten this because you came to America in your history and heritage as a slave, what I can tell you is you're taking your entire culture, your entire community, back to those days when you refuse to hear that what you're behaving as is entitlement. You see, the entitled mind thinks that they have the rights all the time above other citizens because somehow their entire community became black and blue over history of time. And what we can say about that is while we have the dereliction of human duty that created those situations, what we can also say is that your claim of other people's booty or treasure is an illness in America. You see, God above all people puts you as a part of our continent. He could have put you as a part of any other nation, any other race, and any other tribe. But you and your selfishness are not thinking about what you are representing today when you do your illness of mind on other people's lives. And when I wake every morning to find less of my beard, what I know is that there is a particular company and their employee that is always near. So do I have the right to accuse that individual who sort of modestly looks like me and has a lot of trucker friends you see, or do I have the right to go and retaliate on his life because he's assumed to be the person? Or is it just a black person who walks in the night who says, aha, victim, I'm going to be a villain and no one will know it? Or is it the man that likes to ride his bicycle past me multiple times in the early morning hours to say, aha, did you know it was me? Here's what I say to you. God in heaven knows it's you, motherfucker. Your family and friends probably know it's you, you foolish girl. But what I can say to you is when you lied, when you stole, when you cheated a man out of his life partnerships, you failed yourself.